Ooh. I like to play Nokia. Nokia, no. Mine mm-hmm. used to be Trees. Trees was awesome. Trees was a really good place to go see bands. Um, they closed it down. A new place called The Loft. You guys, you guys are too locally. I think it'd be yeah. sweet to go to England. To do some shows out there. <laughs> Your answer is England. My <laughs> answer is England. <laughs> That's just your favorite England. place here. Club to see shows. The, the whole just island. Anywhere. Just, just England. England. Just England. Cool. So if you're in England, have a show. I'd like to go. <laughs> yeah. People stop listening to bad music. Well, definitely things I like, would say like this. That'll, I guess, kind of stir up the music scene right now. We have his shows and just, I guess, word of mouth. But definitely things like this, you know, will help definitely expose the new bands. More yeah, because there's a lot of bands out there that are starting out right now that most of us in the in this room haven't even heard of here in Arlington, even that want to have a way to, you know, I guess, have their music put out there. And this would be a great yeah. you know, medium. The music scene is just overly saturated right now, and it's been that way for a little while around this area. And I think the best thing to do with it is, is for the fans and stuff to continue to support all the local bands, but to really put up some bands in a higher order, you know, and actually support them like they used to. And so nowadays, because there's so many bands and so many shows, it's just friends and other people that come across. You need to actually support a band and stick with them. Well, right now I'm a really huge fan. I mean, not huge, but I'm a pretty big fan of uh, Brad Wiley's stuff. He's from Saginaw. He's in a band now called Boom Goes the Dynamite, and they seem to have <laughs> a silly name, but they also you know, have great potential. Like so, yeah. yeah, we'd like to play with them. <laughs> if, you know, if you're watching, it's a cool name. Call us. Um, one of our best friends. There's not really like local in, in that they're in the city, but. <laughs> They live in Tyler, they used to be Sterling and now they're the Rad and they'll be starting to play pretty soon so check them out everyone. Um, they're our best friends and will continue to be forever. Aww. Oh. Well, I think we should each answer. Oh god, I don't know. Um, oh god. There's, I don't know, there's, I don't know, there's several shows that I really like. When I was in high school, we went to go see, is it Against Me, and like Anti-Flag and Bad Religion, I don't know. Was that at Trees? It was at Trees. Oh, I, I really liked that show, but um, more recently... Oh, rough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, more recently, I guess not recently, but we went to go see the Get Up Kids last show, back in Missouri, Dude, Kansas yeah. City, Missouri. In 2005. Yeah. That was a pretty good show. It was their last show ever, but it's a good show. Um, Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, the most influential show that I've ever seen as far as, and the best show that I can remember is seeing Pedro the Lion at Ridgely Theater when I was younger and he was he would play like nine songs and no one would say a damn word during the whole thing and it was just amazing to see one guy captivating an entire audience like a sold out crowd at Ridgely so that was my most memorable show. Uh. I'll go with best live show I've ever seen. As tall as lions, like it's not even really that close for me. They were like the best band. They were so tight musically, and it's like it's like listening to the record, but that much better because they're there and they do everything perfectly. And just the energy is incredible. And honorable mention goes to Kevin Devine, who always puts on a great show. From what I've seen, I think that a lot of us bring individual, um, not only our individual likes and music, but our individual different creations that we've had, and it all comes into a good collaboration. Um, But to be able to have a good balance between being independent, but also being able to be compromising and work with each other is is the key to be able to make it. And in a different sense of the question, we're independent as far as, you know, there's no record label. Obviously, at the stage where it's kind of like do it yourself sort of deal. Um, pretty much how it's been all four years of this band. I like it that way. Ka-ching. Ka-ching. We don't have any ka-ching. <laughs> um, what would you. With air quotes. <laughs> you didn't see the air quotes. 
making it for me would be just being able to tour. No, I, mean, I, I, you know, I wouldn't care if I had a lot of money, just if I could tour and that would be my living, just being on the road. I wouldn't have to be filthy ripped off of it just as long as that got me by. I think it's pretty much the same for all of us, you know? Yeah. Like, it, don't speak for me. Okay. okay. <laughs> Making I'm, it for black. Making it for me is getting a Ferrari and a mansion. Right. Yeah. Right. No, really, seriously, I think success in making it is all in, in your own perspective. But to, to me, man, to have like one person come out to your show and pay money and buy merchandise and say they like your music, like that's in, in itself making it in some way. So with every new fan, we make something new. Thanks. Oh, buddy. Thanks. <laughs>